If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this bottle of Carlo Rossi wine into this lovely, glittery, confetti, sparkly, pretty bottle, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today I'm going to be adding some glitter to this pineapple sangria Carlo Rossi wine bottle. I'm going to be applying the glitter with this Mod Podge glue. And you will also need some type of sponge brush or paint brush to apply your glue to the bottle. Now this is something different. This is some very lovely confetti um, recollections glitter, polyester glitter. And it's like very big and chunky. I've never used this type of glitter on a wine bottle. So I just wanna see what the effect will look like. This is silver and it's gold. And I just thought that would look nice with the color of the labeling of the bottle. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. And as far as when, what I'm going to seal the glitter with, I wanna try something different. So we'll get to that later on in the video. But I'm gonna go ahead and just get this open. I'm going to start at the bottom. And you know, I like to make these bottles just because I think they're pretty. Um, I usually always give them away or I just kind of leave them somewhere like on a shelf or something at home for decoration. Um, I don't drink, never have, but These I are know very nice gifts for birthdays. Um, I've been invited actually to a housewarming and I know um, that my friend does like wine. So I think she'll enjoy something like this. So this may be one of the bottles that I, I usually um, just do section by section. But I had enough glue on my brush, I said, I'll just go ahead. So I'm just taking my time and spreading the glitter evenly. Look at that full coverage, you guys. This sure is very different than using just regular fine glitter or extra fine glitter, which is what I usually use. I usually use fine glitter. This is so pretty and thick and not only does it just have the confetti glitter, the thick, thick pieces in it, I can see that it also has small glitter in it as well. So the coverage is amazing. One of these brushes, just in case you have to dust anything off. I think this looks great so far. It's very chunky, it's just a different vibe, and it looks like just like a party. It just looks like a party to me.
like absolute glamour party glamour las vegas lights action i love 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 this and by the by the by being so chunky i feel like i don't need two coats that's what i feel like i feel like i don't need two coats but we'll see i'll let this dry um i may do one coat so i'll look and see if there's any areas that look like it just needs some extra which sometimes that is the case and some areas is thinner than others so i may still end up doing two coats but i really feel like it doesn't need two coats it's really up to you it's up to you but i think this looks really good i'm gonna let this dry for probably about an hour or so come back and decide if i want to put a second coat on here and then we're going to try a different method with the ceiling okay i'll be back you guys okay so this is how the chunky confetti glitter has dried this is how it looks this is one coat i have made the executive decision that i'm only going to do one coat i just feel like this is for me this is very full because not only is it just the, the chunky glitter it does also have bits of smaller glitter to go in between those other little spaces so i like what it's giving right now now i don't want to compromise any of the shine so i'm going to try to seal this and hold the shine with this product right here it's called liquid glass by tri art now if you're not familiar with liquid glass it's it's called a medium it's a pouring medium and it's also considered or called a finish resin it's not a resin it's not like toxic and have that horrible smell like resin i actually used this on a canvas painting that's where i learned about it from so i figure if it can um have that sealed if it can have that clear finish and not have that harsh smell and add shine it's called liquid glass i figure hmm i should be able to seal some glitter with it so we're gonna find out how this works and hopefully it turns out like how i'm thinking it should turn out so what i'm going to do is just take a little dollar tree paintbrush and i'm gonna pour some in this lid here i'm just gonna brush it on and let it sit and then we'll come back tomorrow and see what it looks like i'm not gonna use a lot this stuff was um not cheap I think I paid about 18 bucks for this off Amazon. I may need more than that. Let's see. Okay. So we're gonna see what this does. I don't know though if when it dries, if it's gonna have like a hard edge to it or not. So I'll make sure I just have a piece of wax paper underneath it. But yeah, let's just see how this goes. I'm just gonna just brush it on and it's so shiny Ooh, it's shiny and sparkly I may need to add a little bit more but I'm just gonna gently just glide my brush across and um, if you want to know if it has like a smell or anything I don't really smell anything and I'm just gonna glide it across just like that and just keep going until it's fully covered We'll let this sit overnight, then I'll add some rhinestones to this area at the top, and we'll come back. Okay, so while the liquid fusion is drying, which I'll let that dry overnight, but I think usually it takes about four to six hours to fully cure, but to be on the safe side, let it cure for about 24 hours. So if you touch it, it's not like gooey or anything like that. 
I'm using a resin four millimeter yellow rhinestone, which I thought because of the background of this area right here is yellow, it made sense and was cute to put yellow there. Could have also went with a gold, but you know, if you don't like either colors, then you still could go over it with some paint and change the color as well. Also, if you have pearls and you're into that look, you can add pearls on this area or you can leave it blank. And of course, you can also go over this area with glitter. And I just like how the rhinestones look. It just gives it an added glam effect. Once this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and reveal the look to you in the next final clip. Keep watching, you guys. Okay, here is the final result, and you guys, I am loving this bottle. I just cannot get enough of this confetti glitter. I actually did do two bottles in one day. I already posted the other video of the other one, and I thought that one was very cute as well. Be sure to check out that video. I'll probably insert it in here as well. This is super, super, super glamorous. Look how sparkly that is. Look how thick that is. And remind you, I use one coat of glitter. One coat, usually two coats, but with this, no, one coat. Imagine this being a gift for someone for the housewarming, their birthday, or Christmas, holidays, whatever. Whatever you wanna do this for. Or just to match your decor in your home. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. The first bottle I did was bigger and it was Sutter Home. Um, the colors were different. I actually like this one better for some reason. I just love the combination and how the light hits the glitter. It's just absolutely amazing. If you liked this video and found it helpful or inspirational to make something yourself, give it a thumbs up, share it on Facebook if possible, and subscribe if you want to, there's no pressure. And if you don't, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. Here's the other bottle I was telling you about. I already posted this video. If you haven't seen this video using of me using the liquid glass on this confetti glitter bottle, Go ahead and check that out. I do have a whole playlist of videos of wine glasses. Um, I have a playlist of wine bottles with glitter and rhinestones. Check all those out. Let me know in the comment section which bottle you like the best. You like this mermaid mix of color um, with the confetti glitter or do you like the first one that I did with the gold and the silver colors? Let me know. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.